Hey, it's Gavin here. I hope you're well today. I've got a very, very simple workout. Just three minutes and we're going to work your arms to try and get rid of some of that little bingo swing. You know, the bingo arms, whatever you want to call it, the bat wings. Okay, we're going to try and help you reduce that. Try to tone these arms up a little bit more and in just three minutes. So it's a simple routine that you can do anywhere while you're traveling, uh, at home, even in the gym as a bit of a warm-up exercise if you want to, but a great tool to use nonetheless. So our first exercise is called monkey pumps, and I've learned this one from my friend Meredith Shirk, so props to her for showing me this one, and I'm going to show you it right now. So I'll give you a quick demo, and then we'll get cracking, okay? So you start in this position, knee slightly bent, belly button pulled in, engaging those abs, shoulder height from the elbow, bring it out, try and squeeze your shoulder blades, and then from there you're going to push up high, trying to keep some tension in your arms and your shoulders, bring it back down, squeeze the shoulder blades, squeeze your arms together here at the front so you get the chest muscles working as well, the little pecs, bring it back out, push up. Can you do that? Of course you can. So let's do this. We're going to do one minute and then move on to our next exercise and then on to our next exercise. A very, very simple exercise to follow on this one, so I don't need to give you too much of a heads up on it. Okay, are you ready? In three, two, or one, let's go. So, arms together, bring them out, squeeze the shoulder blades, push up overhead, breathe in every chance you can get. So, on the effort, squeeze, squeeze. Squeezing all the way through this, okay? Big push up, keep that tension, push up high, squeeze the shoulder blades, squeeze the arms together, boom. Here we go. We're living the dream here. It's a beautiful day here, actually. So, not too, not too shabby at all. Let's keep it going. Not long left. Breathe it out. Trying to make sure that you're not just going through the motions, but you're actually engaging those muscles. Up and down and squeeze. Bang. Up to the top. Last few seconds. Nearly there, nearly there. Come on, stay with me. Ah. Here we go, up to the top. Bring it back down, squeeze, squeeze, relax. Good stuff, shake those shoulders out. All right, our next exercise, again, a simple one, reverse flies. All it is, knees slightly bent. Take your arms out wide, squeeze those shoulder blades back in, and we're gonna again squeeze in the middle. Boom, boom. Okay, let's do this, one minute. Let's go. So, controlled, not too quick. And try and breathe out. Every time on the effort. Okay, and that's all it is. Very, very simple. But you're gonna feel this, especially after that last exercise. Let's keep strong. Now, as you get tired, it's gonna be very easy to let those arms drop down. Try and keep them high. We're still working the shoulders at the same time here. Good. Breathing out on the effort, so every time we're looking to squeeze, that's when you want to breathe. Okay, keep those arms high now. I know they're going to want to drop. Knees slightly bent still. Looking straight ahead. Go on. Here we go. Starting to feel that burn now. Oh, yeah. Okay, last few reps. Come on. There we go. Last one indeed. There we go. Finish it off. Go shake it out again. All right, next one, bicep curl with an iso hold. So that's that static contraction, similar to what we've done with that little squeeze. So all we have to do, again, feet shoulder width apart, bring them up, squeeze. We're looking for two seconds, roughly tense for all your worth. All right, get these fired up. All right, one minute, off we go. So bring it up, squeeze, one, two, back down. Squeeze, one, two, down. So we're trying to squeeze everything you're worth, okay? Don't leave anything in the tank there. Maximum contraction. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Back down. Squeeze. Hold it on there. Now if you've got a resistance band or even some dumbbells, you can do the same thing at home with this one. Just make sure that you're engaging. Fire them up. Especially towards the end when they start to get a little bit tired, you wanna make sure that you keep it on. And for double trouble on this one, what you can do if I show you from behind. So we've got the squeeze there. Try and push back that little bit further so you get the triceps engaged as well. The double bubble, what we like. The head looking forward, squeeze, bring it up, and squeeze. Okay, that's the trick. Boom, squeeze, 
squeeze. So we're getting biceps and triceps at the same time. Voila! So there it is. Just three minutes. Of course, you can repeat that if you want to. But the idea here is just to get you moving, get you back into the swing of things. And if you're a little bit stuck with time, that's a nice little short one for you. So I hope you enjoy that. Let me know what you think down in the comments, wherever they might be. Or ping me an email, let me know what you think as well. All right, so take care for now, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.